Good morning and welcome to WHHM News. Today is Thursday, September 25th and it's a B-Day. I'm Evelyn McHale. And I'm Connell Harriman. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Last night in sports, our football team lost to a very talented Beaufort Middle team, 55-6. to six. Dean Seelbach Dean Seelbach connected with Jake Roberts for an acrobatic catch in the back of the end zone for the Singer Anzolene touchdown. Tonight, the volleyball team faces our arch rival McCracken. The team is currently in second place in the league and looking to earn another W against Bluffton. Tickets are only $4, so come out and support the girls tonight. According to Coach DiOrio, any student who attends will receive a free courtside photograph with Mr. Dixon. Wow, what a deal! Attention Model United Nations members, there will be a 30-minute meeting after school Monday, September 29th in room 621. Please be in Ms. Clark's room by 225 and have a ride ready to pick you up at 255. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Wells or Ms. Clark before Monday. Please bring your device, if you have it and it works, with you to the meeting. Today's weather forecast for Hilton Ed. Some rain this morning with the clouds clearing and reaching a high of 80 degrees by midday. Tonight, some isolated showers late with a low of 70. This weekend, there's an 80% chance of rain each day. Don't forget your umbrella. This, this week's football pick'em contest is up and running on our WHHM Edmodo page. Again, this week, nearly 100 students and staff have submitted their picks. Each, winners, each week's winners gets a prize, so check out our Edmodo page and choose your winners. A new sport has been popping up in golf communities around the country. It combines the basic concepts of golf with the foot skills of soccer, and it's called foot golf. Recently, some golf, golf courses in the Hilton Head area have allowed their courses to become part of this new sport sweeping the country. See the on and packet video for a better look at the sport. really played like soccer, except it's on a golf course. You use the same terrain, so it's natural to possibly host a, a foot golf you know, product on a golf course. Uh, most of them, I think there's over 160 courses in the United States now, and to my knowledge, they're all on golf courses. So it brings water hazards, out of bounds, bunkers, the terrain changes all into play, which is you know part of the fun of it. Um, so uh, the average uh, adults can really only kick a ball about 50 yards, so you can lay out a foot golf course. Um, across the, you know, you can put, for example, two foot golf holes on one par four or three foot golf holes on a par five. So uh, you can use nine holes of traditional golf to lay out an 18 hole foot golf course. Uh, you have a traditional starting point like you do in golf with tee markers, and then you actually putt out or kick out to a 21 inch cup uh, that fits, easily fits a soccer ball. It has a flag stick in it. so. Uh, it's just like golf in that respect. You have penalties for being in hazards or out of bounds. Uh, you follow golf's etiquette about the lowest uh, score on the previous hole going first and whoever's away you know, kicks first and those kinds of things. So, so many similarities um, that we, uh, you know, it's just a natural thing to have on a golf course. Next Thursday, October 2nd, will be our first day that we're open for play. Uh, we've got all the equipment in, so we've been kicking around and trying it and playing it and trying to figure out how the setup is going to be received by our customers. We're going to run the program every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday uh, at this point year-round, um, and we'll see how the popularity grows if we need to expand that you know, beyond those days. But we think that captures a weekend visitor as well as a weekday visitor that might want to give it a try. Um, we're going to offer it separate of, of our golf uh, offering, too. So we're actually going to shut down the golf traffic on the golf course about 2 o'clock, set up the foot golf product and then it's starting at three o'clock we'll host foot golf play and then convert it back to you know take the pins out for foot golf because they're different than the pins for the golf uh, golfers and uh, remove some of the signage and turn it back to a golf course for the next morning and then do it again friday and saturday and and then uh, the, every week thursday through saturday after that On today's show, we have three contestants participating in our live game show. Today's topic is... Please introduce yourself and tell us what homeroom you are from. 
Sophia, and I'm from Tavino's homeroom. Um, I'm Shirlene, and I'm Ms. Bichowski's class. My name is Edward, and I'm from Ms. Shermer's Algebra 1 class. Okay. Our first question, what is the only bird that cannot fly? Okay. What? Shush. Okay, uh, Shirley, what was your answer? A dog, because there's no such thing. <laughs> Edward? Penguin. Ostrich? Okay, the correct answer was penguin, and the only person who answered penguin was Edward. Okay. Our second question. What country in South America has the most land and square miles? What 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 country in South America has the most land in square miles? It, it's up there. Just shush. 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 Mm -hmm. Just pretend something random again. Okay. <laughs> That's it makes this more fun. <laughs> Don't say dog. <laughs> Not dog. Say cat. You ready? Okay, the correct answer was the home of the World Cup, Brazil. Uh, Shirley, what did you put? Cat. <laughs> Edward? Argentina. Brazil. <laughs> so, uh, Sophia's the only one that got that answer correct. So, yeah. Argen Brazil, yeah. <laughs> okay. Our third question. What, what is the largest organ in the human body? Okay, Charlene, what did you get? A leg. <laughs> Large intestine. Sophia? Stomach. The correct answer is skin. What? Nobody got that answer correct. Oh, I don't have some more uh, and, and our final question. This weekend, a future Hall of Fame baseball player, Derek Jeter, will be retiring from the major leagues. What team does Jeter play for? Okay, Shailene, what did you get? Basketball. Edward? <laughs> New York Yankees. Sophia? A baseball team. <laughs> Edward, Edward got it right, and that makes Edward the winner of our today's game show. Thank you, and have an amazing Thursday. Boom.